Hi guys, Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill, and we have some stuff going on tonight, man. We need to do this with a meatloaf. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? Look at how juicy that is. Are you kidding me with that? Oh yeah, that's nice stuff. And if you're gonna make meatloaf, you might as well pull out all, all the stops and make it a good one, right? So uh, we got our our white mix out here, and we brought a burner out. We got all kinds of things going on. So let me walk you through the ingredients that you're gonna need for this one. All right. And by the way, uh, hit that share button and, and 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 all that kind of stuff, and invite your friends over into this party. It's always fun to share these recipes with everybody. Okay. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two cups of red onions. Dice those up. You're gonna want four cloves of garlic. Cut them up nice and thin. One tablespoon of oil, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of beef stock, one and a half tablespoons, that's the one of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sire sauce, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of uh, light brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, two tablespoons, uh, sorry, teaspoons of pepper. And then you're gonna need a pinch, no, two pinches of uh, parsley and one pinch of uh, thyme, whatever that is. I don't get the pinch, all right? so. Like if you're like if you're like a big guy with sausage fingers, right, and a pinch, so it's like a big heavy uh, oregano now in time fest. Or if you're like a little dainty one and you have tiny little fingers, then you barely know it's there. Huh. I'd rather just go with like teaspoons and stuff. All right, so uh, induction burners are great. I got this guy going. Let's go to medium high here and let's get a couple things going. Da, 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 da. And uh, listen, while things are sizzling and getting ready and all that kind of stuff, let us know where you're watching from. We always love that. Here's a giant waste of plastic. There we go. So um, listen, the theme for tonight's show is moist. All right? It's very <laughs> moist. Yeah, it is. Actually, if you look around here, we've been like really, we've been fighting the rain and rippy. dancing in between the clouds and all this kind of stuff. Our only saving grace is that our, our, our uh, gazebo here is wood. So uh, we, we feel a little bit better about that, you know, except for the big tin roof. But I figure if there's lightning, it'll get that first, right? Isn't that how electricity works? I'm almost positive. <laughs> Trisha said, no, Mark, oh. that's not how electricity works. You said tin roof. What's that? Nothing. Tin roof. Oh, we went to the B-52s the, the other night. Rested. Okay, um, so listen, you're going to spend about five or six minutes softening these onions to start off with, right? And then the last minute, you're going to go ahead and you're going to throw the garlic in. So while that's happening, and this is one of the fun parts about cooking, my kid's like, a, uh, Brandon's like a big math whiz, right? And I'm like, okay, can I make math any part of this fun? Because he mm. somehow made mm. math fun and interesting and I don't get it. So uh, if you're doing the cooking thing, and maybe this is where you got it from, you know, if you want everything to come out on time and at the same time, you, you play that little game in your head, what takes this, what takes that. So I know this is going to take five minutes. I know that's gonna take an extra minute when I put the garlic in there. And I know that I want the breadcrumbs to soak for about four to five minutes. So as long as I get this going in time, then everything's gonna be ready in a hurry. So whatever you gotta to do to get breadcrumbs, uh, I like fresh ones, always, always, always. All right. Ooh. Done, you can do it. Burn it up. There we go. It was pretty wet out here. I didn't know if I was gonna get breadcrumbs or dough. <laughs> There we go. Did you burn yourself? No. Oh, Trish is like stepping into the smoker, man. So listen, we decided to do this uh, smoke. We'll talk about different cooking uh, ways later. So this is really nice in here. Just kind of get these softened up and brown. I went for the heavy cast iron. Uh, that's just my favorite, man. You can do uh, you can do whatever you want. Copper, nonstick, uh, glass, Teflon, uh, aluminum. What else is out there? Anything you want. I prefer cast iron. All right, here we go. There we are. Well, that's our breadcrumbs. Uh, Jan Muller, it's Muller and Muller, uh, presents these on QVC. I love that guy, man. Uh, uh, when I first started watching infomercials when I was a kid, he did so many of them. I actually bought the beer machine for my dad on one of his, uh, his infomercials. That was so cool. And I remember uh, I remember watching him doing uh, this thing on QVC. He's so good. All right, so now you're going to want to take two eggs. So I want the eggs in there like that. And then I want to put... My beef stock and my Worcestershire sire sauce. All right, let's take the same one. Now, mix this up, but don't go like crazy. Just enough to coat it. Remember, what's tonight's theme? Moist, all right? <laughs> well, everything moist. Florida's moist, the ground's mm. moist, all these trees are moist, everything's moist. So I want my meatloaf moist, all right? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's clear out a little bit of space. All right, we got about uh, two minutes to go before the garlic goes in there. I got my chilled chest. Let's make the uh, sauce that we're going to use for uh, the start and the finished glaze. Oh, whoa, that looks oh, good, huh? It smells good. Does it? I'm hungry. These are great. Well, so, yeah, we haven't eaten all day. We've, we've, we were going to do this like two hours ago in the rain, uh, like four hours ago in the rain, half an hour ago in the rain. We're like, come on, man. <laughs> so, let's put in our 
ketchup. Joey Brown Turner sugar. from South Carolina. Hey, hell, you guys be careful. You guys be careful, man. Mm, that's a nasty one up there. So I'm going to use one of a couple of Roman's favorite tools today. Here we go. I love this thing. Okay. Hey, yeah. That is my mom. What's that? My mom. Is this your mom's? Oh, it is. She has yeah. got to get on Facebook. I know. She doesn't enjoy all this stuff for her to use. <laughs> and it's usually because I can't find something. <laughs> I couldn't find a whisk. A plug. Okay. That's what I couldn't find. I couldn't find a whisk, so I thought this was great. Or a plug. Or a plug. There we go. In. <laughs> Sink. There we go. We got a, a port of sink. Oh, I can There's see a dish I don't have to clean, huh? <laughs> nice. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, these look good. All right. All right, so listen. Come on, have a look in here. These are about where you want these onions. All right. Like I said, man, meatloaf's cool. It can be really boring or it can be like a really, really good dish, man. You might as well take a couple of extra steps. So go ahead and put that garlic in now, just like that. And we're going to hit this with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Now, uh, uh, you know, while this has this last minute, let me show you a couple of things that I'm using here. And uh, listen, we're, we're lucky. We've got access to all kinds of neat kitchen stuff and gadgets and all the things that make these jobs really easy and super fun. Uh, so here's a couple that I love to use. Uh, the, the, these induction cooktops. Uh, this one's from New Wave. Love those guys. Uh, induction cooktops are very, very cool. Um, they're, they're portable. They heat up quick. They work on almost everything. Uh, they're almost like instant heat. Love these things. The pot, this is a, ready for this, non-stick cast iron seriously non-stick cast iron somebody actually invented that not a coating not a brush on not something that chips off they actually like figure it out at the molecular level before they cast it in those sand casts and, and then break the uh, break the mold and out she comes and you get that uh you know fingerprint uh, uh you know almost a uh, uh, unique uh, you know, uh, cast and mold of that pot. It's fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and put that there. So you want to let this go for about 30 seconds, uh, just to cool off a bit. We can clear up some of this stuff, I think. All right, so we got our glaze. We got this going, that going. Let's grab our uh, our meat now. Mm. Hey, listen, I want you to get 80/20. That's it. 80% meat, 20% fat. In case you ever wonder what 80/20 meant. This is not the time to be a hero. You understand? I don't want to see 90/10. This 95.5, you're going to be all healthy and cool and go with the lean stuff. Not for this, all right? This is not the time, all right? This is 80-20 because you want this to be, what's today's theme? Moist. <laughs> <laughs> and 80-20 is going to give you moist. So go ahead and put that in and uh, just start to give that a little bit of a mix. That's your egg and your breadcrumbs that you did up fresh there. Just like that, nice and light. Good. And now add your pinch, whatever that is of parsley and your pinch whatever that is of thyme and we're done with all the wasteful little plastic cups all right there we go now let's get those in oh yeah there we go tv money shot right there oh yeah that's good stuff huh look at that non-stick look at that i can actually put it in the dishwasher i love working with good stuff all right let's take that out of there and grab this now you don't want to go crazy mixing, uh, mixing this up. You can throw the uh, rubber gloves on if you want. Start working this with your fingers. But if you over mix these, right, then uh, they just they develop a, a texture that I'm just not a fan. You know, not a fan of. There we go. So just with a spatula, we're gonna do that. All right, turn it into work now. Oh yeah, look at that. This is starting to look perfect. Just like that. Everything's getting nice and smells unreal listen the whole key the whole trick to this is sauteing the uh oh, is sauteing the uh onions and the garlic that's what you want to do so get that out just like that and then you're gonna want to start to form So you've got that perfect log. That's what we're looking for. So you're gonna take half of that glaze that you made out of the ketchup and brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, see, she hits me with that every time, I love it. Uh, the ketchup and the brown sugar, there we go. And the, what else went in there? Pepper, that's it. That's it, pepper went in there. And you're just gonna kind of create that glaze because what that's gonna do because of the sugar is caramelize 
like really nicely. It's a good pot. So listen, work with parchment paper, work with wax paper, it keeps your cutting boards clean, makes it easy to transfer on and off of things. So now, you've got the beet loaf formed, everything's in there, so now you gotta decide, how am I gonna cook this? What do you got that gets up to 350 degrees? Let's talk about it. You got an oven? Terrific. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a uh, cookie sheet, you're gonna line it with tin foil, and you're gonna fill that with water, and you're gonna put it on the bottom shelf. You following me? Because what's today's theme? Moist. moist. Okay, we want to keep it moist in the oven, all right? That's also the reason that we use the beef stock and the breadcrumbs. Now, some people use milk, but we're keeping it a beefy theme tonight. We want the beef stock, okay? So then you're going to put your meatloaf over top of that water. That's important. So that's if you're doing an oven. If you've got one of these guys, big green egg, you want to make sure that under your place center, you have that pan of water, okay? And if you've got a Traeger, like we do, like we cook this in, all right? Now, I've already taken this out and let it rest for about 10 minutes. I put it back in here for dramatic effect because nobody wants to see me take it out of the kitchen. You want to see it come out of here, right? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Check it out. Oh, another little plug here. Oh, get it? <laughs> uh, these are great, guys. Uh, we use the iChef from Maverick. They make a whole cool line of uh, thermometers that uh, send the signal wherever you want to go, whether it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever. So, you know, uh, hanging out inside, having a little nap, things off when I'm done, and they come out and talk to you guys. That's how our areas work. We just sleep all day and they come out here. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh. So, the magic here, you guys, is that char on that side here. We'll get that out here in just a second so you can see it. All right, that's the magic. That's what you love. Oh, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna avert disaster here. How's it going? There, now see what we've done here? We took a tray of water and put it underneath. And that way, this won't dry out. See what we did? So if you're using a uh, pellet grill, that's the best thing I can uh, suggest. So here, while it's not rated, look at that. Check that out. If you stuck your finger on that black part, that would burn you like a, a sugar, like a Tootsie Roll in a microwave. I'm it. telling you right now. I want to okay? do it. No, it's good. That, that's that char, man. That's that caramelized sugar that you want. That's the best stuff. Oh, well, here we go. Put that there. And again, let it rest for a good, uh, a good 10 to 15 minutes. All right, that's what you're looking for. So here we go. Let's take one right from the middle. I love it. Ready for this? Uh huh. Not. Oh, we nailed it. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Look what we forgot. Wait, 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 wait. The other half. The other half of the glaze goes on after it's cooked. There we go. Grandma would go nuts mm. if you didn't put the ketchup on top. But just plain ketchup is not really my favorite. Oh, there we go. Christine's. Oh, yeah, Christine. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So, here, I got to do this, you guys. You can do this with a meatloaf. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? Look how juicy that is. Are you kidding me with that? Oh, yeah. That's nice stuff. Pass me a fork, baby. All right. We'll take a little slice off here. And inside, we got our mashed potatoes ready. We got our veggies. We got our gravy. We are set, man. That is about as perfect as perfect gets. And when you use that water, look, look, look. Doesn't burn the heck out of the bottom. It leaves it perfect and moist. moist. <laughs> so you know I'm going to grab a little bit of caramelized part right there. There we go. This is what it's all about. Look at that. A little bit of a smoke ring because we smoked it. <laughs> the caramelized part, guys. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, guys. Wow. Mm. Mm, yum, yum, yum. God, that's good. My name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill. We'll see you next time.